Good morning guys, this is Jilly Cube um, from the, coming from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia doing an acrylic abstract pour painting for you again. Um, if you're a beginner, there are lots of videos for beginners uh, in the link below that you'll know um, how to get started in all of this. And if you're an avid follower of mine, then welcome back guys, happy to see you. Thanks so much for joining me. So today I'm going to go to the old flip cup pour. <laughs> Remember that? I think maybe lots of people, certainly me, it was the very first pour that I ever did was a flip cup. You know, I thought it was magical and when I look back on that pour that I did, I thought it was, oh, this is the best thing. So that's what got me hooked. So um, it's kind of a back to basics, I guess. But I am using up the very last of some colours that I have and I do think they will be fine together. But um, the proof is in the um, pudding as they say so I'll just get on with it. I've got, actually I probably don't need the bigger cup so we'll see. Okay, got my 40 by 50 centimetre canvas ready to go. I've got my push, big giant push bins underneath. I usually do, um, there's my push bins, I usually line the back of it with the masking tape, but I didn't today. I put the push bins in. So just back to basics, doing a video for you guys of the basic uh, flip cup pour or dirty cup pour or whatever they're calling it these days. I'm not sure. I just know that you flip a cup and it's with the colours in it and called a flip cup pour. So there you go, I'm going to do three flip cups on this particular canvas. It probably could do with more but um, they're the bigger cups so we'll just see how we go. So this is all with the Montmartre Studio Acrylics um, and my pouring medium that I make up myself of 70 percent uh, the Elmer's craft glue and 30 percent I add warm water to it uh, so that's my particular pouring medium that I use uh, okay where should we go okay I'll go the white yeah so my pouring medium recipe and my suppliers and suppliers other suppliers are on the in the bottom drop down box below my video it may say description it's usually a drop down box where I'll put all the information that you will need to um, see what I did to each pour, but also I've got links there to beginners videos. I mean, even, you know, oh, dipping videos and things like that, or working with cheaper paints. There's a bit there for everybody, I believe. So I hope you guys are all going well and that you're coping as good as can be expected with what we've all got to endure so for me it's been a time to just keep creating just keep coming back into my art room and keep creating so I have got an outlet rather than sit there and feel sorry about it all and get cranky I just get on with it and just keep creating I I was worried that the supplies would dry up in the regards the paint pouring but um, our local online supplier or an online supplier in Australia has been great and making sure that they're still full on getting as many supplies out as possible so I received my nice big I actually got a, bo a box of <laughs> I got a box I think there's 10 in the box of the Montmartre um single thick canvases the 40 by 50 that's what i'm using today they're really nice canvas so i got i think i've got a box of 10 so i believe it's cheaper by the box but nice that it was all delivered to my door bought into my garage i didn't have to worry about it so the online supplier for australia is still uh, busy as ever so if you need supplies then that's the place that you will find them 
and you still stay home in the comfort of your home because they're delivered right to your door. It's all good. So any paint supplies too. I've made sure I've ordered up big on my paint supplies so I can just keep creating and it won't affect me mentally if I know I can keep creating. So I suggest whether any of you have never painted before or you are, just make sure you've got something to do that for your mental well-being that's therapeutic too. Okay, those colours I used was the green, uh, the, I think it's called uh, mid-green or to get the bottle. Um, there was violet and there's crimson, crimson, crimson. crimson. So yeah, there's greens and crimson and purples. You've got to be careful in case they mix, but I'm pouring it carefully down the sides so I'm hoping that it doesn't go to mud and it could very well do so it's just basically pouring equal amounts into each cup now I'm really going to stir it up and put some of this phthalo blue so I'm really really hoping I'm being successful with this mix of colours like I said they're all leftover colours and I wanted to do something that I hope turns out really lovely. Sure it will. So that was the phalo blue and this is the cerulean. Cerulean, cerulean. So let's hope this all turns out just a beauty. The oddest colours sometimes that you think are not going to be they can sometimes, the way the particular technique is done, turn out very well. So, um, here goes nothing, hey? I'm going to do the flip cups, and if it, I'll put them aside, I can always change, change it if it doesn't work out. So here we go, just I'm gonna flip it up. Other people may make, find a better way of doing that by turning the canvas out. This canvas is too big to do that. So you've got to really learn to be confident with that wrist action of just... Oop. Oh my goodness, I'll tell you what, I'm really risking it with these colours, but, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound, as they used to say. I don't know where they said it or where the saying came from, but I just used to hear my mother saying that often. I think it just meant... I think it just means to just go with it and risk it, you know. Risk it for a Swiss kit. Okay, so I'm just leaving them a second or two for the paint to all go down to the bottom of the cup. Hopefully plays nice together and just turns into something stunning. Move this. I've got painting that I uh, embellished. And now it's stuck to my... Eh, I better get it out of the way in case I get some other paints over it. I don't want to do that because it turned out really nice. I think the video will be up now, so I'll give you a quick... This was a, just an embellishment of an all, a cheap print that I bought from the shop. So it, it's already got the box frame and everything. Can I just embellish it? I've got the video up there, so have a look at the video. It's a very short one, only about seven or eight minutes long, so it's a quickie quickie video for you to watch as hopefully this will be so wish me luck because these are runnier paints so you usually do a lot thicker in a flip cup pour so here goes do I take that one down the other end and do that maybe I think I've done that bit odd Never mind. I know some people don't like tipping your bit, bits left over out of the cup, but you know. Tally ho, tally ho. Oh, the cups, look at that. I don't know if you can see that in that cup. Oh my goodness, the colours and the way the cells have come up in the cups just delightful. Wow. 
fingers crossed, not gone muddy yet. So, so, so. Not sure if I will. I'm not going to um, put my butane torch on it just yet. I'll give it a bit of a tilt. See where we're going. So it's just very slowly, slowly kind of walking it up the top of the canvas. Then I'll do the same when I come to walk it back down the canvas. Don't want to worry about them corners, trying to tilt off everything just to get the bit of paint on the corners because there'll be plenty of paint that runs off to fix those corners up with. But it's looking pretty good because I thought they may have a chance of going muddy, odd colours, but it's looking good so far. So just slowly, slowly walking it down the canvas. Just trying to keep it from running off too quickly. those cells coming up gorgeous actually these colors do go absolutely stunning together as long as you do it carefully and they don't end up just going to mud but okay keep it going let's bring you over here wowzers Nice and slow. Yeah, it was the very first um, acrylic pouring. I've always worked doing acrylic paint as just uh, painting things from a young girl from school. Um, and my son was very good artist right from a three-year-old he was painting really quite advanced pictures and things so um, my mother could paint and my aunties so I suppose painting was kind of in the family but um, they were a lot better at doing um, still life art and things like that whereas I've always favoured abstract as my choice so okay looking good considering those were all the same colors in the cup I'm gonna pour some of the paint over the very tippy tippy tips so that I just have left in the cup I'm not gonna stress out about it just add a bit of absolutely fine to do that I don't stress out about corners whatever you do it's just not worth it it's just got to relax, go with the flow, Joe, Jill. Okay, I hope you're catching up on all the videos of your favourite artists because they're all there for you at this time where now you, you've got the time hopefully at home to be able to uh, check up on all your favourite artists uh, videos. So. Go with it, get get watching, it helps them too, keeping them employed, um, doing what they love, so, and, and me too, it's keeping me happy if you're watching. I don't ask you for any money or for payment, but um, it's really good that you do watch and comment, because that does help me um, develop my channel. So I thank you all for that. Thank you so much for the people subscribing and that are there when each video comes out. Okay, we're onto my heat gun now. It's still going. I did drop it and tread on it last week and I have got a new one arrived. Thank you, Cabriol Shabby Chic. They sent me one straight away. Um, came very quickly. So here you go. I'm, I'm still working with the old one while it's working. Just heats the paint 
slowly instead of uh, burning it or you know obviously if you're not confident don't use a gas a butane gas if you're not confident with it because you've only got to drop it or set the paint uh, you work on fire and if you haven't got a fire extinguisher which you should all have if you're doing anything That hit my paint, never mind. That heats up the paint nice and slowly where a butane gas torch can just burn your paint, sizzle it straight away. But this little heat wand, and there, I think the brand on this was a MOFA, M-O-F-A. In the US they're found on Amazon. In Australia, any of you can order them in the link down below. They're under $30 and they last for ages unless you tread on them or drop them. But then again, they're still going, look, even with, and I use it every single day. So I just find it's been a perfectly great little tool. So now down for this painting. What do you think, guys? We're back to the basic old flip cup pour. There's some amazing cells. Look at these, amazing cells. But on that side, obviously where they were stretched, they've gone a bit sort of like avocado color. So that's probably the only area that's, that's mixed a bit. So that's still good because it adds contrast to the whole painting. Amazing gem-like cells through here. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous cells. Please drop me a line, drop me a comment. Please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like what I've done, just move on. I don't want to hear negative comments. Just uh, just move on, I say. If you haven't got nothing nice to say, then please don't say it. So you guys, so happy that you're sticking with me throughout this journey and watching my videos. So I'll leave that one with you. Please let me know what you think. Wait for the photos at the end. I haven't actually done one, a flip cut like that for quite a while now because, you know, they were getting a bit boring. So... You just try and swap it up all the time, like I try to do. Keep bringing different things, different ideas to you to give it, give it a try. So I'll give you some close-ups of these gorgeous cells. Just wait for the end of the video. Until next time, bye for now. Take care and stay safe. Stay isolated.